The Chinese car company you've probably never heard of called Chang'an, they sold nearly 600,000 electric cars in 2024. And they're saying that next year, some of their electric cars will have solid state batteries, promising incredible range. Is the future finally here? Are solid state batteries finally going to be electric cars? Well, it appears very probable. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. This is um, quite an amazing point in time. Chang'an, they are a state-owned automobile manufacturer in China who have multiple brands in China. They, they say they have solid-state batteries that will provide over 1,500 kilometers of range by the end of this year. The end of this year, it's over. Solid state batteries are here. Chang'an is saying, you know what? We are changing the game. We're going to do it before Toyota. Toyota made their promises in 2014, but we're going to do it before even Toyota. Even the mighty Toyota will lose to a brand you've probably never heard of. Speaking of a car company you've never heard of, well, in 2024, Chang'an actually sold 244,000 electric cars under the Deepool brand. So Deepool, which you can buy in Australia now, is doing really well. Chang'an Lumen, they sold 145,000 Lumens. That's uh, like a budget small electric vehicle, competes with the Hongwan Mini EV. Very nice car. It's a better car than the Hongwan Mini EV. The Chang'an Uni Z, 110,000 sales. The Chang'an Nevo A07, 60,000 sales. That means in total they sold 560,000 electric cars. And I mean, that's more than, uh, obviously, quite a lot more than many other Chinese EV brands I'm sure you've heard of, like Zika and Xpeng and Neo. So, what does this mean for these batteries? Well, it means potentially a thousand miles of range from these EVs from Chang'an. Now, if you live in the United States, I, well, I'd like to apologize to you because you won't be driving these cars. I will be though. I will be. I will most certainly be driving one. Honestly, guys, when these vehicles are released, I'm going to go to China and, well, assuming I can, assuming that is possible considering my current situation, if I can physically go to China, I will go there and test them. I'll test one of them and I'm going to drive it, I see, as, see how far I can go. See if I see how, how much range we can actually get out of these batteries. See if it will do more than 1,500 kilometers of range, which is what Chang'an is saying. Chang'an is one of China's largest and oldest automobile manufacturers. It is a state-owned enterprise with a strong presence in internal combustion cars, but also in electric cars. The company was actually originally founded all the way back in 1862 as a military supply factory, later moving to automobiles. Very exclusive event here in Newcastle. Saturday the 15th of March from 3 to 5 p.m. I'll be speaking here with just a couple of other speakers. Very small event. So you can meet me in person. You can actually have a look at my EV as well, the Xpeng G6. Test that out. I'll put a link in the description below to the event. I believe that the tickets will probably sell out very, very quickly. So if you're from Sydney, from Brisbane, from Newcastle, make sure you click on that link as quickly as possible to get in. I think there's only around 30 tickets left at this point in time. I'll put that link in the description and I'll see you there. And in fact, it actually makes cars for many legacy automakers, including Ford. It has a joint venture with Ford. So it makes Fords in China. It makes Mazdas. It makes Peugeots, Peugeot Citroën. Um, well, it did in the past before Peugeot Citroën left China. And Huawei and Katel, it also has partnerships with them. China has partnered with Chinese tech giant Huawei and battery maker CATL to develop smart electric cars. China has committed to phasing out gasoline vehicles this year in 2025. It will sell only electric cars and hybrids, plug-in hybrids, much like BYD. And the company has also launched the Avatar and Deepal brands, two EV sub-brands focusing on high performance and smart electric cars. Sales from those brands have been incredibly impressive. Global expansion, are they coming? Well, Chang'an is expanding beyond China into markets like Southeast Asia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Australia, South America, Brazil, Chile and Peru, Europe, they're um, going into many countries across Europe, the Middle East and Africa. And considering you can buy Chang'an vehicles here in Australia, there is a high probability that within a few years' time, 
one of these deep wall EVs will come with a solid state battery. If you want to pay extra, you have to get this kind of crazy range. I mean, imagine that. Imagine an electric car with a normal size battery giving you a thousand miles of range. That's coming pretty soon. I mean, I think people thought it wouldn't, but actually it is. So Chang'an is saying this, all right? To give you the actual data, they're saying they will actually put solid, all solid state batteries into prototype vehicles by the end of this year, and you'll have to buy them in 2026. Now, the company is saying that they will validate those vehicles uh, this year, validate those. They've tested the batteries, but they'll val have them validated and in cars for sale at some point. Looks like towards the end of 2026. What kind of energy density do they have? Well, apparently the energy density is around 400 watt hours per kilogram and can provide a range of up to 50, more than 1,500 kilometers, they're saying. Really, realistically, I don't think that's uh, likely. Think about it this way, guys. The energy density of, say, Tesla's batteries is probably around 260 watt hours to 270 watt hours per kilogram. So you're going from that to 400 watt hours per kilogram. It's a big difference, but it's not, a, it's not double. So... If you can get, say, 600 kilometers of range, so around 360 miles of range today from a Tesla Model 3, using these batteries would not increase your range to 1,500 kilometers. It would increase your range to probably maybe about 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles. So Chang'an's claims are a little bit optimistic. Maybe they're, maybe they're saying, well, if you put a big battery in there, if you put a really big one in there, we'll, we'll get that kind of range. But it's not the the energy density is nowhere near the theoretical capacity of solid state batteries which is said to be potentially in the thousands of watt hours per kilogram meaning you know 10 to 20 times the energy density of today's batteries that'll eventually happen probably in 20 years from now but at this point in time Chang'an solid state batteries are impressive not just for their energy density I mean they're not amazingly impressive to be honest because Cato's condensed battery is already at 400 watt hours per kilogram and they already sell those batteries but it's still pretty good, right? Chang'an say as well, they have improved safety by 70% with their solid state batteries. Meaning if you had a crash with a solid state battery, it'd be very, very difficult to actually for them to set fire. Much more likely your petrol powered car or a normal EV would have a battery fire or a gasoline internal combustion fire. Internal combustion fires in cars are far more common than electric car fires. However, keep this in mind, CATL, the world's largest battery maker, says that it will be making solid state batteries in 2027. It says the energy density will actually end up being around 500 watt hours per kilogram, meaning about double the energy density of batteries in a lot of electric cars today. Now that's that's um a fair, that's about 20% higher than these batteries from Chang'an. So when we get into these 500 watt hours per kilogram energy density that's going to give us a range potentially of, you know, about 600 plus, 600, maybe 700 miles in a car. Think about this. If you were to buy a pickup truck with, say, today the Tesla Cybertruck uses a 123 kilowatt hour size battery. If you had this energy density in those batteries, you'd be probably looking at about 450 miles of range from that same battery pack. But... If you had 500 watt hours of energy density, 500 watt hours per kilogram of energy density, you might be looking at about 600 miles of range. And that means your Cybertruck would get a lot more range than any internal combustion engine ute currently on the market. That's the point where I think internal combustion will die. And it's gonna happen a lot quicker than what people think. Solid state batteries have been worked on now by pretty much every battery company in the world. They're all doing it. And I reckon we're gonna see an avalanche of these new batteries coming to the market over the next five to 10 years. Imagine how much the industry will change between now and 2035. 2035, I believe in 2035, no one in their right mind would possibly want anything that's not a fully electric car. I mean, why would you want to plug in hybrid when you can get this? You just would not want it. It's just nonsensical to want to get a plug in. Any kind of hybrid car, e-revs, internal combustion, diesel, none of that makes sense when you compare it to what we're going to see over the next five to 10 years. The world is going to be a remarkable place. And this is so exciting, guys. This technology changes. What a time to be alive. It's absolutely fantastic. Don't get me wrong, guys. My current situation at home, it's pretty sucky. It's pretty terrible. But this, making videos for you guys and looking at all this stuff, you know, it helps to brighten my day. 
So thanks for sticking with me. Appreciate your support.